So the best way that you guys can do your work tasks, whether that's studying, whether that's genuine like nine to five, whether that's business work, whatever it may be, is to batch your activities in short bursts and earn your free time. Now let me go very in depth with this because this is very, very valuable for any ambitious um, entrepreneurial kind of individual. Maybe that's you, maybe you want you want your own business one day, you want to learn how to work efficiently, maybe you want to learn how to study efficiently and to also balance you know, work mode, Andrew Tate do mode, with kind of just enjoying life and being present and having fun in the moment and not focusing constantly on the next task. How do we balance that? How do we find that equilibrium? So, first of all, we must understand that the goal is freedom. This is something that I journaled about this morning, right? Because I was in this mode of like just constant work, 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 work. But then I asked myself, what's it all for if you do not have freedom? The whole reason I started this channel and started this kind of, this business, if you will, was to work for myself was to be able to have the freedom to be anywhere in the world and all I have to do is whip out my camera and talk and I make money. And you know, obviously coach guys and stuff like that. It's very location independent. I don't really have to be anywhere to do it. Um, you know, I can, I can be anywhere in the world and, and do this job. So my goal was always freedom. It's always, ah, oh, I can be anywhere. I don't have to turn up at a certain time at this time to do this, to do this. The goal has always been freedom for me. So you must remember that if that is your goal, if that's something you want to achieve and you want this nine to five lifestyle so you can be free, you must remember that when you are doing your work tasks that, okay, I need to balance it out with something else, with a bit of freedom, with a bit of enjoyment. I can't just be in work mode nonstop from morning till night forever because then I'm pretty much just a slave. I'm a slave to myself. I'm a slave to what I've created. So remember your goal is freedom. And with that being said, we can now cultivate and curate a routine that allows you to be free while not sacrificing your business side of things. So you can enjoy the moment, you can have your fun, you can chill out with your girls, you can chill out with your family, you can chill out and go for a walk and just enjoy yourself and not focus on work, but you can still make your work work for you. <coughs> if that makes sense, right? Excuse me. <coughs> still recovering from the illness. So with that being said, I don't know why I laughed at that then. You gotta enjoy life, you see what I mean? Fuck it, bruv. <clears throat> I'm trying to make this video all perfect, the professional and formal, I just start coughing halfway through. Yeah, but with that being said, you must understand that, all right, if I'm working all the time, that's great, and you know, the business is staying afloat and everything's going as it should, but I'm never taking time to enjoy myself. I'm never taking time to socially connect. I've got to rush home from the gym because oh, I've got to get home and work on my business, guys. I've got to get home and go to, you're pretty much just working a nine to five, what's the point? Freedom is your goal. So let's talk about the work tasks. How do we organize this? First of all, we must have a routine. You cannot just go through your life going with the flow. It just doesn't work like that. You're gonna be just drifting around everywhere. So you must set yourself a military-like routine. I wake up, I do all my morning routine tasks, and then I allow for a bit of spontaneity in the evening. That is how I do it. I earn my free time, I earn my spontaneity. So first thing in the morning, before anything else, before midday, before 12 o'clock's even come around, I've done all of my tasks. Everything's done. Then for the rest of the day, I can either choose whether or not I wanna put some more time into work today, or whether or not I wanna be a bit spontaneous and go and chill with my family, or maybe go out on a day out, or maybe go here, maybe go there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when you do work, you batch them and you do everything in one. So right now, this is work for me. I'm batching my tasks. I'm not allowed to go home and chill out and eat my breakfast and whatever until I have done my work tasks. I batch them, I do them all at once. I record all my videos at once, and then I'll do a live stream, then I'll go for a run, then I'll do a work, I'll do it all one after the other. Quick succession, routine, military, bam, on it. One thing, then on the next thing, then to the next thing. Now, I will say you must be adaptable with your routine. So one day you might wake up and, and your, your girl might ask you, oh, do you wanna go here today? You know, it's only on at this time, do you wanna come with me? You could sometimes be disciplined and say, yeah, you know, sorry, I got business to do, I got work to do, maybe we'll do it next time. You could do that sometimes. But I think also, again, you must have this equilibrium that, you know what, sometimes you just gotta fucking enjoy life. What's the point in having all this success and all this financial freedom if you're not even enjoying it? Because you're constantly in work mode, you're constantly in Andrew Tate mode, you're never enjoying it, okay? You have to have that balance. So yeah, make your routine adaptable. Make it so that sometimes you can wake up and go out with your family. Uh, I haven't meditated yet. I haven't done my workout yet. Okay, be adaptable with it. This is the mindset I have, right? I do my work every single day. I'm stuck on my routine. Bam, 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 I get it done. 
I earn my free time in the evening. I earn my spontaneity, my chill time, whatever you want to call it, in the evening by doing work first thing in the morning. All of my, my tasks are done. They've batched. They're all done for the day. Then I can chill out for the evening and do whatever I feel like doing. If I want to come and chill out in the sun, I can do that. If I want to go to the gym for five hours and, and chill out and work out and socialize, I can do that. If I want to go and chill in the sauna, I can, if I want to chill, my, I, can, I can do it. I've got freedom. Because again, remember, that's the goal. You must work to earn that freedom. So, with that being said, if for whatever reason an event happens where it kind of ruins my routine, so yesterday, for example, I woke up and um, my mum was like, oh, do you want to come out of town with me and my, my nan and my granddad? And we're all going out of town, we're going to get some fish and chips or something, just some family time, right? Just ta time away from, from the city. Oh, phone's going to die, that's not good. We better wrap this up, boys. Um, and I said, yeah, you know what, fuck it, go on. I've, I had shit to do, I had videos to record, I, you know, I've got to meditate, I've got to do my normal morning routine, oh my God, I haven't been to the gym today. You can have this mindset of like, every single day I've got to be structured, I've got to do it. Or maybe you can just have a bit of fucking balance. This is how what I like to do is, if I have a day where I'm spontaneous, if I have a day where I'm not sticking to my routine, I kind of go off track, I don't work out that day because I'm out of town and I'm busy with the family, I don't record the videos because again, I'm out of town, I'm being spontaneous for the day. That's fine, be adaptable, but double down on your work the next day. So today I'm doing extra work today than I normally would. That's how you've got to do it. When you do your work, do them in short bursts, do them in, in, in batching tasks so you get it all done and then you can earn your free time. That's how I see it. Don't just sit there on social media or on Netflix or, you know, again, you can sit with your family and chill out, but a lot of the time, don't just sit there and be lazy if you've still got work to be done. But be adaptable. That is my main message to you is, okay, set yourself a routine that is cultivated around you getting all of your essential tasks done first thing in the morning. You've cultivated that routine. Great. You're in a nice flow now. You're doing it every single day. Every now and then you're going to get moments where your girl wants to come out or you've got to satisfy your hoes. You've got to keep them happy. Your boys want to come and see you. You want to go and chill with the lads, you know, and it's, it's short notice. It's out of nowhere. They've just invited you today and oh, but shit, I've got to stick to my routine. Sometimes life is just about enjoying yourself. Otherwise, what's the point? If you go through your entire life and you're working forever, what's the fucking point? You know what I mean? You're never getting time to actually enjoy the fruits of your labor. So be adaptable with your routine. I think that's a message I want you guys to take from this is, okay, I can work, I can be in that work mode, but um, you know, every now and then I gotta be adaptable. I gotta enjoy some family time. I gotta enjoy some social connection. I gotta enjoy, you know, just chilling out in the sauna and meditating and not having to worry about, oh, but I gotta record this many videos. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Sometimes just fucking enjoy yourself, right? Be adaptable with it. If, again, let me reiterate, if for whatever reason you have a day where you're not on your routine, you have to be spontaneous, you're adapting, like I said before, just make sure that you double down the next day. Don't beat yourself up like, oh, I haven't been to the gym today. That's fine. But make sure you double down the next day. Go to the gym for extra time. Work out harder. Do more push-ups, right? Look at this fucking view. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely beautiful day. I'm going to go for a run after I've recorded these. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I love it. So yeah, with that being said, make your routine adaptable. Set yourself targets that you achieve every single day. For me, I'm going to walk you through my routine and then we'll, end, we'll, end, we'll call it a day, right? We'll end it there. So I wake up, I read a bit of a book first thing in the morning because my brain is still in subconscious kind of tired mode. So you can take in information a lot better. So I read a book first thing in the morning. Then I'll do some meditation for 10 minutes. I'll do five minutes of presence, grounding myself and five minutes of sexual transmutation. Then I'll do a bit of visualization. I'll visualize my goals for the day, for my life, who I want to be, the kind of lifestyle I want, et cetera, et cetera. Then I'll get up, do a couple of stretches, you know, get my body warmed up, ready to go. Do a bit of journaling, gratitude journal. I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for the sun, I'm grateful for the fact that my limbs work, the fact that I can breathe, blah, blah, blah. Do a bit of gratitude journaling, get myself in that positive mindset for the day. This is what I do every single day, right? Then I'll do my push-ups. Um, I'll go and have a, I'll go straight outside. I'll drink loads of water before I go outside, make sure I'm hydrated. I go outside, get some daylight exposure on my skin and in my eyes. I'll re record my videos, so I'm getting the business side of things done. So, you know, I've already got the mental health stuff done. Then I get my business stuff done. Then after that, I'll come home, cold shower, go to the gym. So you get the gist, right? I stick to that every single fucking day. However, there are days like yesterday where, you know, something happens where I'm forced to be a bit spontaneous. I'm forced to be like, ah, not stick to the routine today. Now, I think you should allow a little bit of guilt in not to ruin your moment. So obviously if I'm going out with my family for the day and I'm not on my routine, I'm not going to the gym, I'm not doing what I usually would do. I didn't have time to meditate because oh, I was such short notice, whatever. 
don't allow the guilt to ruin the present moment or ruin the day. So if you're chilling out with your family and stuff like that, don't allow it to ruin it. Don't be sitting there thinking, oh, but I've got to be in the gym today. I've got to do this today. Because then it's just ruining the present moment, isn't it? Hiya, how you doing? It's just ruining it. So I think, but allow a little bit in because then the next day you can double down. Then the next day you can go to the gym and smash it and you can make up for lost time. Then you can meditate for double the time the next day. Okay, so I think it's, it really is about balance. You have to be adaptable with it, otherwise what's the point? You know, and I think earning your free time is definitely the best way of doing it. You know, I'll say to myself, right, if I do a full week of constant work, constant videos every single day, live streams every day, community posts, coaching calls, everything, I'm fully on it. The business is, is, is booming, the routine, I've stuck to it. I'm telling people, no, nah, sorry, you can't come out today. I've got shit to do, got work to do. For a full week, I do that. Then the next week, I can be a bit more spontaneous. I can go and see my, my girl. I'm going to say hoes. I can go and see my girls. Watching too much Andrew Tate. I can go and see my girls. I can go and chill with my family. I can um, go and just chill out in nature and do whatever I want in the sun. So that's, that's, a, that's fun for me, you know, just coming out here and just sitting with no worries in the world and just getting some sunlight. That's enjoyable for me. So I'll do that. You know, I'll just do whatever I feel like doing. So, but I have to earn it. I can't just do that because, oh, I feel like it. Like you have to have that balance because obviously if I don't earn it, then the business is going to start going down. But if I'm constantly in business mode, then my overall quality of life is going to go down. So you need the balance. You need to set yourself short work bursts. So maybe a week of just work, 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 fully focused to make sure your business is afloat, is compounding so that the next week when you are focusing on your quality of life, you're enjoying your life, you're socially connecting, you're doing what you feel like doing. And that's not to say eat loads of shit and, you know, poison your body and all this bullshit, but you're doing what you're basically just operating with no worries. You're not worried of like, oh, I've got to get this many videos recorded. I've got to get this amount of studying done because you've, you've compounded it the last week. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you go for these work bursts, compound it. Then the next week you can enjoy your free time. You can chill out, you can socialize, whatever. You can set this up in your own way. That's how I kind of like to do it. So if, for example, this weekend, I'm seeing a girl on Sunday. Okay, obviously I'm going to be just, I'm going to be off the routine. I'm going to be waking up the next day. I'm not going to be doing my normal routine. So that I say to myself in advance, right, I've got to earn it then. Because I know that I'm just simply going there to, you know, you know what I'm there for, right? You know what I'm there for. I'm chilling out, enjoying social connection, doing some other things, a bit of cardio, okay? And um, obviously the next morning, we're probably going to have a lie-in. You know, it's that kind of vibe, right? We're just chilling. We're not really, oh, God, sorry, got to go. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're just kind of, we're chilling. So obviously I know that the next morning I'm going to wake up, I'm going to have a lie-in. I'm going to, you know, not be on my routine. I might have missed a, a couple hours in the morning. I know that that's coming, so therefore I'm going to earn it. Until, I'm, until I've earned it, until I've doubled down on the business, I've doubled down in the gym, I've hit full body three times in a row, then I know that, okay, on those days, on Sunday night and Monday, when I'm chilling with my girl, I know that, you know, I don't have to worry about it. I'm not feeling guilty because I've compounded it. I've worked for this. Therefore, I can just enjoy being grounded in the present moment. I can enjoy it. Quality of life goes up. Enjoy your feminine energy. I can just make the most of the present moment. And I think that's very important as well. It's just, just stay present with whatever it is that you're doing. You know, a lot of the times we'll get in work mode and we'll be like, right, next target, next target, next target. We'll be constantly focusing on the next thing that we forget to just sit and just enjoy the present moment. Right now I'm doing work. I could be thinking in my head subconsciously, what's the next video that I'm going to do? Next video, next video, next video. I'm just enjoying it. I'm flowing right now. There's no thoughts in my head. I don't really care whether or not this, this video is kind of structured perfectly. I'm just flowing. I'm just chatting with my boy. That's all it is. There's no, you know, there's no worries in the world. I'm enjoying the sunshine. Life's good. That's how you've got to see it. Make whatever you are doing fun and enjoyable. So therefore, you can sustain it for a long period of time and actually get the best out of it. You guys probably like watching my videos because I'm authentic. I'm not, you know, over the top in terms of formality. I don't sit there with my fucking suit on and right, guys, tonight with all the edits and shit. Like, I'm just me. I'm just chatting to you. Do you understand? That's probably why you like me, authenticity. So not only does my business profit from it, but also my quality of life goes up too. So just fucking enjoy yourself at the same time. Make sure you are working. You're earning that enjoyment though, okay? That's my main message. Coaching's down below if you want to learn more from me. Look after yourself, bro. I'll see you soon. Bam.